Hi, I'm Sophronia Scott, director of the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing for the 21st Century, and welcome once again to Faculty Friday. This is your chance to get to know some of the amazing faculty mentors that we have in our MFA program. Today, I have with us Jim Daniels. So Jim, as a writer, has authored 28 collections of poetry, six collections of fiction, and four produced screenplays. He has also edited or co-edited six anthologies of writing. His work has been published in the Best American Poetry and Pushcart Prize volumes. He has read his poetry on Garrison Keillor's Prairie Home Companion, and his poems have been frequently featured on Keillor's Writer's Almanac, which I absolutely love. So I'm excited about that. Thank you for being with us here today, Jim. Thanks for having me. So Jim, today can you share with us what is a particular writing tip that, that you find you share often with students? Well, uh, I don't know if this is a, a tip so much, but I think it's something that I, I say a lot because one of the questions as writers we often get asked is, well, do you write every day? You know, or what's your writing schedule? And you know, some writers do write every day, but uh, I think we have to sort of cut ourselves a break now and then just in terms of sometimes life gets in the way and that's okay. And sometimes when life gets in the way, that gives us something to write about later on. True. But an important part of the writing process, so what I, how I answer that question is, well, I think about writing every day. And, and that's really, uh, really true. I mean, it, it comes up in a lot of ways. And I think it goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway, it's, it's really important to read as a, as a writer and read, read as a writer in terms of how we read and paying attention to how other writers, uh, you know, how they handle things, uh, you know, stylistic things that we might uh, learn from ourselves. And so your, your reading is part of your writing time. And uh, so I, I think it's important to remind ourselves because some days things just aren't happening. And I, you know, in the other room, I have a stack of books because that's how I often start my writing process. Uh, so, I, I guess the advice would be, don't necessarily just open up, because most people are, are, you know, writing on laptops or computers, don't just open up to a blank page and feel like you need to start writing. Because that can, the blank screen can be a kind of pressure. Yes. And um, that is not always conducive. And so, one of the things I, so you have to kind of sneak up on it a little bit and ease down into it. And reading really helps with that. It, uh, you know, I idle kind of high and the writing, the reading sort of calms me down to a certain place where I'm sort of thinking uh, at maybe a deeper level or paying more attention to things. And I'm often reading many books simultaneously. So I'll just arbitrarily say, okay, I'm gonna read one poem, from each of these five or 10 books today. And sometimes a book will pull me in and I'll just keep reading that one book, which is great when it happens because that, uh, that's coming out of enthusiasm and enjoyment of the work. And, and then maybe start writing. And, and I'm often inspired to write through what I'm reading. Not that I'm uh, you know, plagiarizing, but just some, something in somebody else's poem or novel or book of essays triggers an idea for me. It reminds me of something that might com come from the same emotional place. So I read with a pencil in my hand and jot down notes and what I'll, I, and you know, I actually, I just did this today, but I, I carry around three by five note cards in my pockets. Oh. Uh, so that when something strikes me, I'll write, down enough for me to remember what I wanted to write later on. And actually, um, with our phones, we can do that too, just doing a voice memo or note or something. But 
three by five note cards is, has been my system, so I, I stick with it. But, uh, you know, I, I carry around and, and I keep a, a stack of them next to my bed at night as well. Oh. Um, because you, know, you get ideas when you're laying in bed trying to go to sleep. Uh, and so, and then I transfer them into the computer. Yes. And so when I sit down to write a poem, I, I will not be opening up a blank screen, but I'll be opening up a file of potential ideas for poems and choosing something that I want to pursue and try to develop. Or I'll see like two different notes that are kind of connected to each other. Yeah, I, I call that, you know, the, like you said, lying in bed or even, you know, I get ideas in the shower. I call it the non-writing time, the, the non-writing writing time. <laughs> Right? Exactly. You exactly. think you're not writing, but but you are. Uh, that's big for me with gardening as well. That I'm I'm you know working in the dirt, but but I can tell that I'm working through something, a storyline or or an idea, and and I think we should honor that time. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I think that was I think it was William Stafford who said, a poet poetry is something you need to see out of the corner of your eye. You can be too well prepared for poetry. Ah. Uh, and so, yeah, through gardening or doing something different, uh, you know, I, I'm a big cyclist and uh, I often get ideas when I'm on the bike and have to pull over and look, you know, and I have my note cards on my back and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna write with. But yeah, uh, when you're doing something else physically, your mind wanders and something pops in there. and. Yeah. And, and particularly at night, if you don't write it down, you, you might not remember it. Exactly. And I, I also wanted to add, you know, I think like, I'm a huge, I learned how to be a, a strong reader in my MFA program. And, and it is so important. And I wanted to tell the, the viewers that if, if you feel nervous about, you know, well, I don't know how to read like a writer, that's part of what you're going to be learning in the MFA program, because that, that will be part of the process, you know, writing these short critical papers each month based on uh, your reading that you've come up with with your faculty mentor. So you, you will learn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for being with us here today, Jim. And thank you to our viewers. This has been another Faculty Friday. I'm Sophronia Scott, he's Jim Daniels, and we are with the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing. To learn more about the program, check out our website, alma.edu slash MFA. Thank you.